Good morning, everybody. My name is Jacob. I'm Damien. I'm Austin. And this is the Struggles Podcast. So basically, we are, I've known Austin since we're in like elementary school. And we were talking this year, it's our senior year. And we decided that we wanted to make a podcast for just memories for our class and just something for us to bring our friends on and talk about life, school events, like anything going on in our life. And decided to call it the struggles because life is a struggle. Definitely. Um, yeah, life is definitely a struggle. So we went ahead and said the struggles podcast. That sounds amazing. Normally we'd be accompanied by our, our good friend Cash, but he is homesick today. So there's an empty couch and an empty couch over there. We miss you, Cash. Uh, yeah, we miss you. Um, so today we're just going to be talking about homecoming. So the weekend, this last weekend was homecoming on Saturday. And it's our first year back being from quarantined. So it was a little crazy. People have not been out the house. Um, so qu- homecoming went a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. Were you guys there? Yeah. It was, yeah. A it was a interesting. <laughs> it was interesting fun to say night. the least. Yeah. So our homecoming was actually outside. As you know, you guys all go here. And this is for future us, you know, go looking back and watching this. Yeah. Um, it was outside in the quad. Very weird. And for you, for those of you who didn't attend, there was about 897 people who did attend homecoming this year. And that is an insane amount. It was packed in the quad. It was packed. And to there's say the least. And extremely cold. It was extremely cold. The dance floor was literally <laughs> so small <laughs> for 897 students. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Um, oh, I can't, I take it, it, it was it fun. W- it was fun. It was just crowded. It was very crowded. Like in past years, it was in the gym. So when it was in the gym, it, you were able to go the back and yeah, forth between everything. And obviously, the gym's bigger. And the, and the whole gym was the dance floor. Yeah. Like, you get everywhere to dance. There, <laughs> there was one section smaller than the birdcage, if you guys know what that is. It's the two gates between the administrative office and the uh, counseling office. It was smaller than that. It was... It was tiny. It was, it was tiny. It was extremely yeah. tiny. It was extremely tiny. And there was so many people. Like, I know people fell, and people were sweaty and gross in the I middle. W- I was one of them that was sweaty and gross. People I started throwing water bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Was, so... Uh, because you were in the middle, right, when they yeah. were throwing water? Yeah. We won't reveal the names of who was throwing water, because I do know them. Um, but they were just throwing wa- They went and got water bottles from the taco truck. There was a taco truck. Um, and they just started throwing water. Everybody was dancing, jumping up and down. And then everybody's throwing water. We were all having a good time. And then the DJ was like, heritage. Yeah. We cannot be throwing water. Like, there is electric electricity over here. And we cannot be throwing water. Electricity and water do not mix. And what happened next? He, you guys stopped, you know? he stopped for like 10 minutes. Yeah, so bro said he was going to give us a, a five-minute break. It turned into like 12 it minutes. <laughs> it, it was genuinely it, it, a long time. It, it, it took a while. I had time to go and get a funnel cake. <laughs> wow. I oh. went and stood in the line for a funnel cake, got my funnel cake, sat down at a table, ate it with my girlfriend, and we were fine. We were chilling. It's crazy. We, do. we uh, sat down, watched the Tyson Tyson Fury fight. Tyson Fury fight. I did yeah. go. <laughs> I walked over to you guys, and I l- and you guys are crowding the phone. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what are you guys fight. doing? And they just had the fight on there. Yeah. I don't blame you guys. It was it was somewhat better than the homecoming when it was break. To be honest, it was. It yeah. was like the it was like perfect timing, honestly. Kind of, you know. Yeah. Everybody got a little break. Did you guys enjoy homecoming? Did you guys have a good time? I had a good time. Did it you have a good, good time, time, Damien? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. What, what was made all right. it all right? I don't know, dude. It was just an experience, you know, being out there with my friends. It was, it was pretty cold, but it was fun overall. It, it was cold until you went into the middle and started jumping yeah. o- up and down, until and you were it was extremely every hot. other person that was there. Yeah, yeah, and then you started jumping, and then you got hit with the water bottle, and you're like, oh. "Yeah, it's freezing again." No, it, it's freezing again. Oh, that might yeah, be a good point. In my opinion, the wa- hey, actually the water bottle, like when you were all sweating, okay, it was thing, pretty fun. It actually it was fun, and it felt good. It was it was almost <laughs> like jumping into a pool. Obviously, it's not the same, but like a it pool is a water bottle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was a uh, some couples complaining about it, but you know, it, I was it one of the couples was. complaining about it <laughs> because I was just trying to have at least you're honest. I was just trying to have a nice time dancing with my girlfriend, and like just like a group of friends, and water. Just looked over water, like how I don't know how everybody was up in the middle, you know, doing what what they do at a homecoming, at a dance. Sorry, let me fix <laughs> that. Um. And then just they're just chucking water bottles, man. Dude. So there's, I know there was a kid that had to get hit in the face with one of the empty oh, bottles. Probably, oh, no doubt. Oh, there's one kid that jumped, uh, climbed up. 
Oh, yeah. Up yeah. on the... What are those called? I don't even know what it's called. I don't know, but the big metal frame, if you're at homecoming, you understand what we're talking about. Yeah. There's a big metal frame that had all the, like, the lights for the dance floor. For the DJ and everything. And yeah. A kid literally, like, climbed up it like monkey bars and was hanging off of the top. Yeah. And that kid does not go here. Really? Does he? Not? I'm pretty sure he graduated I've seen year. a lot of unfamiliar faces out there. Definitely. There, there were a lot of guests pass because Had if you look at it this way, the seniors this year, if they're friends with people that graduated last year, they, they didn't get a homecoming, get they didn't pass, get a dance. Yeah. So they're like, oh, guest pass. So Dude, Yeah, we were jumping in the middle. I dropped my phone at least. Oh, you know, dude. Good, like you cracked your phone oh very yeah. bad. Your you phone was your three phone times. messed up. Yeah. I, you, I you can put a pockets. picture of that. You didn't yeah. have pockets? No, I did have pockets. It's not like, man, these people would be wilding. Started hitting me and everything. I was one of them. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, even being on the outside of, like, the circle, because th- everybody was just in the big circle in the center. Yeah. Uh, being on the outside, it was still, like, people were bumping into you left and right. Yeah. like It's because, like, in the middle, everybody was kind of, like, forcing their way around. Like, I don't want to say forcing their way around, but you had to get out somehow. It's not like yeah. when it was in the gym where you could just, like, dip out the back and then slowly get out. Like, to like get out, you literally had to go straight through people. Square. Yeah, yeah because I was... 10 feet by twi- 10 feet little square that you had to dance. It was... Yeah, they. I don't know how so many wild. people managed to fit in that little square. Yeah. It was like a tiny, tiny square. Yeah, and I'm sure if you were there, you you understand. Yeah, you definitely. most people didn't even go on the dance floor because of that. Nope, they just danced. They were just like across on the, the campus. Yeah, pretty much. They. P- I saw people dancing on the other side of the campus just because they did not want to be in the middle. Yeah, and I understand if you're shy and like, but like, why are you gonna dance that far away? You it know, it makes you look. I don't want to say weird, but kind of like. You don't want the attention. It makes it look like you don't want to be there. Well, yeah, there's that. You could have easily gotten dressed up and danced in your kitchen. <laughs> like, the disc Alexa. Alexa, <laughs> Alexa <laughs> play, like, Time of My Life. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, play some disco music, and you could have just, like, started dancing and, like, having a good time instead of paying $30, $35, whatever you paid at the door if you pre-ordered just your uh, tickets. you know, yeah. go, you s- go stand on the far side of campus. Yeah, you could have easily just Extremely not cold went. Weather. Yeah. Because... There was a lot of people that got kicked out. Was I was there? Yeah, there was I, – I counted at least 15. I know security were on it. Bro. Security Secu- hey, with flashing those, their – With those strobe with lights? Flashli- yeah, They had their man. flashlights there flashing at everybody just like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, even one of the supervisors came up. Like, there was some um, – there was some couples, like, just, like, being weird. Like, you're at a high school. Like, they're Definitely being weird. Like PDA, you know. Like, yeah, PDA. Yeah. Like, that was, like, public – like, you, go, you got a car. I know, like – a yeah. lot of these people that are like I seen, I knew some of them. You have a car, you have a house, you have a room. PDA man, like yeah. a little yeah. kiss or like a slow dance yeah, together, like jumping up and down together. Yeah. That's one thing, but like security was on that. Security too. was on that. They had strobe lights. They go up to. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah. yeah, like they're like we can't be having save this. some room yeah. for Jesus. <laughs> save, save some room for Jesus. They bring bring a cross over. They're like no, we can't have Make this. Make sure you read the Bible. Make sure you Child read the God. Bible. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you guys take pictures at homecoming? At uh, homecoming or like at homecoming, like with with Kalantar? No, no, no. You guys didn't? No. Okay, so that was in. It was it was good. Kalantar was doing amazing for how like packed the line was. Yeah, I saw. Pictures. I saw no, how it was, he had it was everything moving. set up and everything. Yeah, it was it moving. It was yeah. moving, and that's how I don't understand. I was using Photoshop to do my own pictures because I felt bad for him. I was like, yeah. just send me them. I'll learn how to. I've never used Photoshop. I was like, I'll learn Photoshop so you don't have to do. It's my pretty own. easy once you learn it, huh? Yeah, it's pretty just easy. Crop it out use it every day. Okay, must be nice. Um, I went and bought it at home so I can use it. Photoshop. Yeah, I d- like the Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop. Oh I wow. use it at home now. Spent a bag. Um. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but it's not a kind of. It's a yeah. It is a bag. Yeah. It's it's like a $25 a month type of thing. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> Top of that, Spotify, Netflix. Man. Yeah, literally. Run my pockets dry. And my phone bill. Everything's like Whoa. running through my pockets right now. Crazy. And going to get food today. <laughs> it was running through. Um, Yo, Taco went by quick, though. Usually they take a quick. while. No, Dude, but they um, need to change the bell schedule or something, bro. Here? Yes. Why? What's wrong with the bell Traffic schedule? is too... St- yeah. Two pads, bro. They need to have two different type of bell schedules. They do. And you have like a zero period. Late that start ends normal. Like, like Didn't they have that down in San Diego? Yeah, dude. Yeah. My old school had a zero period that ended at six period. So traffic could leave early. And then it was one through seven. You had mm. two times that you leave okay. school. So like people would, did they get to choose to go to a zero period? Uh, Well, it was depend. Like You could definitely switch because there's like different classes. I know sports med was like, a, you know, a zero period. And they had other things to help out students. But it 
tr- there was basically no traffic. It was there was more people here, you know. It was traffic was like that. Yeah, so. the traffic after school and everybody who watches oh, this can relate. Like if you leave after seventh period, three ten hits, you go to your car, you might as well just sit in your you car might as and well wait just for wait traffic till to four leave. O'clock. Yeah, you might yeah. as well leave. Even sometimes, like I leave at like three forty five, and I'm still over like waiting on Briggs. I'm waiting on at the stop signs and everything. There's and they got so instructions right here too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Just imagine like they should put a light where that stop sign is by the football field. They should put a light. Because yeah. that would get so many more people through instead of stop, stop, go, stop, stop. stop yeah. I think I think what it is because of the bus lane and the way it comes out and everything. Dude, the bus bro, lane. Bro, have you seen the bus drivers? They do bro, not care. They don't they pull care. Out of They're like they'll a car will be coming sixty and the bus is like, mm, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> like they'll just pull out. Hopefully they'll stop for me. And then well, Literally, when we actually have things go to do, around. like when we have things to actually do, the bu- it's always the buses. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, always the buses that keeps us late. Yeah, even like one time, it was a it was a Friday. I was like, I'm not gonna go home. I'm just gonna go kick it with some homies, and go to the game. Mm-hmm. We left it. We left at three o five. People are so early oh, here. It's insane. They and like park I'm up on the street, and then mm-hmm. a lot of them are pulling like the the bus lane and the fire lane. Mm-hmm. And by the time we got to the car, it was with Easton. So we left. He parks by the football field. Yeah. We go, and we're about to pull out, and then the bus is just boom, <laughs> boom, boom. And it's like once there's one bus, you got to, like, s- if there's enough room, you've got to get in between. Or else you've got to get stuck. in between. Or else you're waiting for the 17 million buses to pass through, yeah. and then you're just kind of there. And you get the bus drivers who just don't care, and they're just going to keep going because they got drop-offs to do, and they got to go home and everything. They got a schedule. They got a family and a life. Like, bro, I'm trying to go home. Exactly. Like, dude. Just let know. me go first, please. Literally. No, so going back on the topic of homecoming, because like that's yeah. that's kind of what this episode is about. We are to way off topic. Yeah, to inform yeah. you guys about Whatever. homecoming if you guys went, if you guys didn't go. Um, so basically, there was it started about seven, and six forty five rolls around because I got here a little early to help the ASB advisor, Mr. Baraha, set up, and well, I got here at six. You so got Jacob. I was I was You're I was fairly six. early. Yeah. yeah, I got here at six, and six forty five rolls around, and there's a line. Already? A huge line at six forty-five. I know we came late and there was a it was humongous insane. It line. was crazy. Yes, yeah, so we showed up what thirty minutes late. Oh, 30, 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, so like seven forty-five we showed up. Yeah, yeah. The the line went from where you enter all the way down to the gym at six forty-five. Hmm. People were trying to get it's in. Insane. It definitely looked like eight hundred and th- or eight hundred and ninety-seven. Oh yeah. However many you people could just bought tell tickets. by the p- amount of people that were there. Mm-hmm. There is at least 100 people in the middle. At l- No, wait. No, way more than 100 people. Oh, yeah, like no doubt. There is at least 200 people in the middle. Yeah. Like, they're all just, like, on top of each other trying to get in the middle to get some water. Like, it was a water line. That's all it was. Pretty much. Um, but it was just, like, like, so did you take pictures before? Uh, No, I didn't take pictures before, but I took pictures there. Oh, okay. And nice. I technically took pictures, like, before, but, like, it was already at the school because I got here so early. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, like we, I picked Damien up at five thirty, I think it was. Yeah. Or five thirty, yeah. five fifteen, something like that. Something like that. And uh-huh. so we we went over to Heritage Lakes, took pictures and everything. Our plan was to go to a restaurant and eat. So we pull up and there's obviously a bunch of cars. It's a Saturday night. <laughs> and, um, at the restaurant or at the at lake? The restaurant. Okay. The restaurant. And so okay. we're we're sitting there and I'm like, well, how long do you think the wait's gonna be and everything? And one of my little sister's friends goes. Two hours. I'm like, oh, there's no way it's going to be two hours. I look at bro, and I say, it's going to be like an hour, 45. Yeah. I was like, 45 right. minutes, an hour tops. I go, hi, can we get a table for nine? And she goes, it's going to be two hours. I said, huh? Yeah. I was two like, two hours. What? Okay. I was like, and then we were like, uh, okay, well, thank you. Never mind. Go to the next restaurant. Well, let's just go find out. Two hours two again. hours, bro. What restaurants were you going to? We went to Red Robin, and then we went over to BJ's. So okay. we were in the town so center. Okay, you're in the town yeah. center. The town center is always packed, and it's a Saturday night. Yeah. So you want to know where we and went? And you're asking for a table at night. Where we went to go eat. Sonic. Pulled into Sonic. You guys pulled into Sonic? <laughs> yep. Yeah. There was no wait there, huh? Nope. nope. It was good. It, it was good, though. Yeah. It hit the spot. Yeah. I haven't had Sonic in a long time. It, it honestly, it was hitting pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we ended up at Sonic for our homecoming dinner before. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a real good meal. Like, I don't see the problem with that. Sonic is great. I was waiting for the girl on skates to fall, but... Dude, my friend Gabriel Good works there. Good for her, there. she didn't. My friend Gabriel works there, and he was like, "Yeah, um, I called off so I can go to homecoming." He was like, "I was not, he was like I was about to just come to the homecoming in roller skates." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, if, like imagine being in the center of homecoming in roller, roller skates. skates." 
you are not wrong. Bro, man, trying to jump up whatever, and down. Those. Whatever works. Whatever works, man. Whatever is going to get you from point A to point B in life. Exactly. And that's roller skates and homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Sonic. All the way to Sonic. Imagine roller skating to from homecoming. From Sonic to Heritage. That is a far roller skate. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to lie. Yeah. But hey, I do it. I wouldn't. I can't even roller skate. I would say I, I don't do know it. how to roller skate. You know how to roller skate? I, bro. <laughs> I can't even ice skate, bro. I went, I went, I tried to go ice skating. The ice skating's day. hard, bro. Bro, that is mad difficult. Yeah, like I ice skating's harder than roller skating. We need to get back on the topic of homecoming. Yeah. So, <laughs> homecoming. <laughs> so homecoming. Would you guys go again if you guys like for next no. year? If you have a little. <laughs> what do you? M- no. Like <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, bro. would you go to another school dance this year? Oh. No. This year? Yeah, this yeah. year. If so it's like outside, no. So. <laughs> If it's outside, no. Look, it's Factual. fall. It's fall, and it's like seventy-two degrees outside. You you don't catch me stepping outside. It's it's too cold. I don't know. I get here pretty early. I get here about seven. Oh, dude. it's forty-five. I degrees get here outside. at nine fifty-two. I walked outside of my house Three this things. morning. I walked back inside to put on another jacket. I that's I don't blame you. Just to drive, mind you, like my heater works and everything, and I was still freezing. <laughs> yeah, I literally was sitting in the car. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all skinny. Oh, I wish. No. Um, okay, so why would you not go to homecoming just because it's out, if it was out? Hold on. Okay. Are you talking like post graduation? Okay. No, actually, sorry. Would you go to another school dance, so like a morph or a winter formal, if I it would. was outside? If it's inside. If it was outside, you wouldn't no. go. I, w- I would go to morph, not a winter formal. Okay. Why not? Why wouldn't you go to a winter formal? Because I don't want to get dressed up during the winter time. Okay. Yeah, that's a fair point. Too cold. Okay, so if it was inside, would you go yeah. to a morph? Let's you know just say oh morph. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 No doubt. So if it was outside morph, would you go? Possibly. Would you go? No. So just outside is a no for Outside's you. Outside's a no. It's it's fall and it feels like winter. It's, it's this isn't it. it. It it's getting close to winter, you know. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is yeah. getting. It is getting. Like it's that October weather right December's now. December is like a month and a half away. Yeah. Just wait till Halloween. What are you gonna do on Halloween? You're gonna go hang out with the homies well, in the cold. Y'all just team me up on me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I don't know. So I Halloween's on a Sunday. That is. Yeah. Oh, that's real good. God's day. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> That's like the devil worship and everything. <laughs> and it's just like it's on Sunday. Mm, Sunday. Everyone goes to church that morning and then everyone dresses up as Slenderman and And that's Slenderman. <laughs> and Michael Myers just killing people like at the end of the night. Hey man, that's that's a way to live your life. You ever been chased with a chainsaw on Halloween? No. What are the plans this Halloween? <laughs> to get chased by a chainsaw. I, <laughs> I kinda wanna go to Six Flags. For Halloween? Yeah. Oh yeah you're on, tripping. on Halloween? Yeah. Fun fact: I don't like roller coasters. You don't like roller coasters? Nope. I'm I'm scared of heights, bro. Badly. You're badly. Like, scared I'm of talking heights? about sweating bad. And you want to go in the military? Listen, bud, I want to be on a boat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Damn. I like yeah. speed though. I like it's tight. Speed? Yes. Yeah, speeding. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did get a little off topic there, you guys, but the main point was homecoming. And then, obviously, you know, it's just a group of friends talking, so the topic will change a little bit. Um, but, yeah, that was our first episode of the Struggles Podcast. Again, I'm Jacob. I'm Damien. Austin. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.